Hi friends, I'm in the garden today to plant my sweet peas. I started them about six or seven weeks ago and they are ready to get in the ground. I've already pinched them back uh, about a week or two weeks ago. I can tell that they are just ready to get out of their containers and get in the ground. So I got some bamboo trellises. I'm gonna put a few outside the garden on bamboo trellises. And then I have a trellis in my raised bed garden that I'm gonna put the rest of them on. This will be my first time ever growing sweet peas. So I don't know why I never grew sweet peas in North Carolina. I think I just assumed that we were just always way too hot to be able to do it. I think that we totally could. And I'm sure there's people down in coastal North Carolina that have plenty of success with sweet peas. So this will be my first time. I'm getting them in the ground. I would have preferred to get them in the ground about a week ago, but time has just gotten away from me. So you can get them in the ground anytime that your soil is no longer frozen and freezing cold. So really March, April timeframe is a great time to get them in the ground. They really like the cooler temperatures and they will fizzle out once that summer heat really comes around. So while we're in the raised bed garden, before I start planting the sweet peas, I wanna just show you what my tulips have done in here. I have tulips across the property in different areas, but these specifically, I just put in the raised bed garden to cut on if I wanted, but I haven't wanted to cut on them because I just think they look so happy and cheery and I can see them from my kitchen window. So I just love the brightness that they add to the garden right now, but I wanna show you and they just look so pretty. They are stunning. These are the ones I just picked up on clearance from Lowe's. So I don't remember what the varieties are. They were mainly just mixed bundles, but this purple, both of these purples, but the ones, the white with the purple stripe is just stunning. And this deep, dark purple, the camera doesn't quite pick up the richness, but they are so pretty. And then over here, there's a couple, like, I mean, these are almost like a burgundy. And then this orange and then some light lavender down here. Oh, they're just so pretty. Love it. So right here in this bed is where I want to plant the sweet peas. I've already got this, it's like a, I think it's six feet, six and a half feet tall trellis that I got from Gardener Supply. And I'm just going to plant on either side of that, get as many sweet peas there as I can. And then I'm going to put a few outside the garden on some bamboo trellises. The wind is so bad today. We have had the windiest spring. I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is normal since it's only my second spring living here, but it has been absolutely wild. So I'm gonna keep talking to a minimum. I will put the five different varieties that I'm growing up on the screen and show you pictures of them. But otherwise, I'm just gonna set the camera up and get to planting so I can get these in the ground. It kind of looks like it's gonna storm, so I gotta get busy. So here are my sweet peas. They are looking awesome i cut them back i think it was a week ago maybe a week and a half ago so they can start branching out there's a few i found that have already started branching out so it's a good idea to um, pinch back your sweet peas from what i've read i am by no means a sweet pea expert <laughs> like i said this is my first time growing them so i've done a decent amount of research but i learn best by trial and error so we'll see but like I said, I've got five different varieties. This bed is four by six. So I am gonna cram as many as I can in there because most of these varieties get like six to 10 feet tall and don't really branch out more than just like a foot or so. So time to get to planting. As I plant these in the ground, I am going to amend my soil with some fertilizer. Sweet peas are great because they climb themselves. They'll get little tendrils and they'll just do the climbing. So I'm just gonna put them on, I'm gonna space them so that each one of them has their own little vertical bar to climb. Oh my goodness, it's starting to rain. My sweet pea planting might be cut short. <laughs> oh goodness, there wasn't supposed to be rain today. We have had rain the last several days, but I thought we'd be in the clear. I'm done with it by now, but I guess not.
what I've read, sweet peas really do not like root disturbance. So something to keep in mind. I might be, be I am probably being a little too rough with them, but I'm in a hurry <laughs> to beat the storm. So I have all the sweet peas planted that are gonna go in this raised bed garden. They're gonna climb up the trellis. I may have already mentioned five different varieties. It's a mix of some purples, lavenders, whites, and I think I have like an orangey pink maybe as well. I'll have to put the names and pictures up on the screen. But now I'm gonna go outside the raised bed garden and I have some bamboo trellises that I am gonna put the remainder on. I need to build one more bamboo trellis and I'll take you along for that and show you how I do it. I am right outside the raised bed garden. The main entrance is over on this side. This is the front, what I call the front. And this is the view that we have from our house, from the back of the house windows. So I thought it would be really nice to have some of the sweet peas growing up right outside the fence, just so we can see them from inside the house. I thought that would just be really pretty. This eventually will be more of my cut flower garden, things that are a little bit more resistant to deer I'm going to plant out here. We actually just got a huge soil and mulch delivery so that we can finish this whole raised bed. So you can kind of see we started with what we had left over from last fall, but we want to bring this whole raised bed out. You can see the irrigation box. There's my muscari. And so it'll go all the way across. And I'm gonna put a few perennials in here, a few evergreens and shrubs, but then I'm also gonna just fill it in with cut flowers. Because I just think having that cut flower color right visible from our inside of our house will just be so pretty. Plan is to put one sweet pea on each bamboo stake. And then that way they're in the background and they can vine and grow up. But as the summer heat starts to come in and my summer flowers, my zinnias and Rubecchia and all my other uh, flowers I have planned will kind of, they'll grow up and kind of obstruct the sweet peas as the sweet peas start to die back. So that's the plan right now. This is the bamboo trellis, teepee, whatever you want to call it. It is very basic and easy to build. I'm going to build one more. We went ahead and built these five but it's just three bamboo stakes. I zip tied them together at the top. Once I stuck them in the ground, just brought them together. And then we just wrapped it with twine to give them a little extra something to climb on. Ideally, I would have used a natural colored twine so it wasn't quite so contrasting and visible, but it's what I had, so I'm just working with it. I didn't wanna go buy more twine just for this. I'm sure the sweet peas will cover it in no time and then it won't be visible anyways. While we're out here, let me show you this muscari. Oh my goodness, it's just stunning. I love, love muscari. I love this like blue. I mean, that is almost a, I mean, it is, it is a true blue, which I know you, you gardeners know, like that's so rare in flowers. And then the purple and the white, it's just, they're just happy little flowers. They bring me so much joy. So I have them just planted in the front here because I knew that this eventually will be the front of the bed. And hopefully they just kind of fill in and naturalize and spread out over time. So I can have more and more and cut on them. Such happy little flowers. All right, so let's get to building that last bamboo trellis. So this last one I actually decided to put on this corner. I'm gonna put it just off this corner. I'm sure eventually I will have some shrubs and evergreen interests planted over here. But I'm just putting these in the ground 
and putting each one about a foot apart in the triangle. Sticking them down in to secure them. And then I'm gonna grab my zip ties. So from here, it's just gathering them roughly where you want them and zip tying them. I mean, you could just use the twine and tie them off, but the zip ties are just so easy. And if you had some jute colored, like natural colored twine, you could wrap it around here a lot and just cover up your zip tie too, which would be nice. But all I'm gonna do is tie it off at the top. I'm surprised we have not lost some trees with the amount of wind that we have had. All right, and from here, I am gonna just wrap it around. So to kind of secure it so they don't slip too much, as I go around, I am doubling back around each stake. That's it, so simple. If I was planning to have something long term or that would last the whole growing season, I would probably do something a little bit more secure, but I'm not really worried about it because sweet peas grow so much so quickly and then fizzle out as soon as the heat arrives that these are really just there <laughs> for just a few months. So now I'm going to get them in the ground. I am just going to go ahead and dig all my holes and then sprinkle in some fertilizer and then I'll come back and pop them in the holes. All right, this weather is wild. It was raining, it was cold, now it's warm and the wind has died down and the sun has come out. So I don't know what to expect from this weather anymore, but it is time for me to call it for the day. I would, would have liked to have gotten my onion seedlings in the ground, but just not enough time in the day. So I did get all of my sweet peas planted, which feels like a great big relief to get that done, get one more seedling out of the grow room and out planted outside. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for gardening with me today.